Bom 
Ruby decided to go back down the river to look for her stepmother, Eska. In the middle of the road, she met a partner who was washing his coat. Uncle, did you see a red scarf floating down the river? The farmer nodded and replied, Red shop? Hmm. Oh yes, I'll show you. The scarf was taken by an old grandmother who was washing water. The old grandmother's house is all in the mud. Bobbity immediately headed up the mud. There, she found a wooden house. She knocked on the door of the house. Excuse me, Grandma. Did you find my mother is wet scarf? The old grandmother opened the door and greeted Bumble. Oh, hi, dear. Let's go in. What's your name? Bumbley Grandma. The old grandmother will give a red scarf with one condition. Bumbley must have her first. Bumbley agreed. All day, she helped the grandmother to cook, move the firewood, clean the house, and wash clothes. For Bumbley, all this work was easy because she was used to doing it. to leave for help. The grandmother gave her the shot. Bumblebee, this is the restaurant you are looking for. Oh, I want to give you a gift. A pumpkin for you. Because you help me. Just reach my mind. On the table, there were both small and large pumpkins. Bumble chose the small pumpkin because she also to carry a basket full of clothes home. Mm, I choose the small one, Grandma. Oh, okay. Take this little pumpkin. But remember, you can't open this pumpkin until you get home. Understand? Well, I will do everything you say, Grandma. Arriving at home, Bumbudu was called by her stepmother and Bumba. Where have you been, Bumbudu? How dare you go on the phone by permission? As 
your water. Bomera complained about how far it goes. Jewelry 
given by her old grandmother made her rich. She continued her father's business and she enjoyed the fruits of her obedience and kindness. So guys, the moral of the story is do not be greedy because all of it is in vain. That's all about the story of Bama and Bhagavati. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Jangan lupa